Kevin Feige updates us on the Marvel Cinematic Universe post-Infinity War. We've been throwing bags and bags of coins into our wishing well this week in the hopes that we'll finally get some straight from the source details on the MCU post-Infinity War, and our wishes came true last night when Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige set their record straight on some of our biggest questions. At a special screening of 2018's Black Panther in Los Angeles, reporter Eric Weber caught up with Feige and did what any fan of Marvel would do when they run into Feige, scream questions at him about the MCU until their throat is hoarse and bloody. Well, we don't know if he did that, but you get the idea. So let's break it all down. First up, the softball. When asked about the status of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Feige referred to it as on hold, which is exactly what we expected it to be. After all of the recent unpleasantness surrounding the film, it's no surprise that Marvel would be taking a timeout on the franchise until they can get their ducks in a row. While we know that Guardians 3 was supposed to set up the future of the MCU for the next decade or two, it looks like we will have to rely on space-based heroes like Captain Marvel and the Eternals while the Guardians remain benched for the next few years. But what about their Avengers brethren? Well, we have some good news for those waiting for a holiday surprise. Though Feige remained mum on a lot of the cool stuff like the title of Avengers 4 and Who Lives and Dies, he did reveal that we would be getting a trailer for the fourth Avengers film before the end of the year. We'd just like to speak for everyone and say, thank God. Avengers 4 is still nearly six months out, so it's not quite that bad, but Marvel is still cutting it pretty close. Remember how we only got a first look at the solo movie three months before its debut? Nonetheless, if Marvel is releasing an A4 trailer before the end of the year, when can we expect it? Well, there are three Disney films set for release between now and the end of the year. Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, and Mary Poppins Returns. The Nutcracker's release date is just a week away, and Ralph 2 is coming out in just under a month, both of which feel a bit too soon to drop the next Avengers trailer. However, with Mary Poppins Returns coming out on December 19th and the sequel to 1964's Mary Poppins being highly anticipated, we think it's a safe bet that we'll be seeing the A4 trailer around December. And think of the cross promotion with Yondu! I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! And finally, perhaps the weirdest info drop from Weber's Feige interview, we may actually be seeing Namor the Submariner in the MCU at some point in the future. According to Weber, Feige said Namor could make an appearance, still decided if and when. First off, huh? Second, for those of you that aren't familiar with all things Namor, he first debuted in 1939 and is one of Marvel's oldest characters. Though he's not a household name, he's been a major player in the comics for decades. He is canonically the first ever mutant in Marvel Comics, and he is even responsible for finding a frozen Captain America in the 1960s. Now, Universal Pictures technically still owns the film rights to Namor as well as She-Hulk, so some deal would have to be made to bring Namor into the MCU. However, if DC's Aquaman tears it up at the box office and Marvel finds themselves wanting to make a movie about their own Atlantean human hybrid, it's good to see there's a chance it could happen. But what do you folks think? Will we see Namor in the MCU? Is the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 delay really that big of a surprise? And be honest, did you skip work today so you could play Red Dead Redemption 2? Let's discuss. Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a video or go live with a show. And Nerdoween is in full swing, which means lots of new stuff from Bizarre States, including new episodes of Bizarre States California dropping every week on ProjectAlpha.com, as well as our live video podcast, which you can always watch live on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. To get access to all of the past episodes and more, get a free 60-day trial to Alpha using the promo code BIZARRE.